Well, speaking of bizarre, let's get into the media world as we do every Monday with Sophie Ellsworth, the media writer at The Australian. Thanks for joining us, Sophie. Great to be here, Chris. Uh, I've got to start off with a spat uh, between the love media. I normally love the way the love media massages each other on the green left. The ABC and The Guardian and the nine newspapers all love telling each other how wonderful they are. But they've been having a go at Fran Kelly because she's got a new television gig and it's been nasty. All the young woke commentators in the old Fairfax press have been saying she's too old. What's going on? Oh, look, Chris, this is quite remarkable, really, because uh, over at The Age and the SMH, it's uh, usually a rarity where they criticise the ABC, but their culture department, so they've got two culture reporters and a culture news editor, have launched into Fran Kelly and quite outraged that she's been appointed the host of a new entertainment show, Frankly. And they voiced their outrage in an opinion article by Thomas Mitchell and then a couple of their reporters uh, you know, launch into an attack on, on their podcast saying that basically Fran was too old for this job and they should have gone for someone much younger and someone who, uh, you know, someone with a you know, much younger age uh, group. So I thought this was quite extraordinary, Chris, that they're ta ageist. attacking Fran like this. It's very ageist. Can you imagine if you or I did that, Chris? They'd be launching into us disgusted. So it was a, a bit of entertaining to watch this uh, pile-on go on over at Nine Newspapers on Fran Kelly, who she, she said to me yesterday she had nothing to add on this whole mm. uh, saga. So quite interesting to see it unfold. She'll be very worried if she's got you and the Australian going in to, uh, to, to defend her. Look, uh, I would never criticise <laughs> Fran Kelly for being too old. I criticise her for being too late. Left wing and whatever. Great broadcaster, great singer, great entertainer. I think we've got a clip of her here singing on the ABC. It used to be a safe seat. How I wish it were again. But with Malcolm on the outside, when it was not the same. There we go. I think that was on one of their political shows. And now she's going to have a television chat show and the young woke dudes at the old Fairfax papers don't like it. You mentioned, I think, Osman Faruqi. Here's what he said in a podcast. This is how the ABC described it. They said, The show will feature frank yet fun conversations with international and homegrown actors, musicians, comedians, big thinkers and change makers. It will be filmed in front of a live audience and feature a house rock band. My original reaction to it was, oh, this is like a parody press release someone has put out. <laughs> and again, not because I have any personal dislike for Fran Kelly. I just felt after 17 years of hearing Fran, something was being lost from the Australian kind of media landscape. Well, wow. you know, isn't Faruqi, uh, he's, he's a former Greens candidate, isn't he? And he's always out there attacking other people for being either racist or homophobes or something. And yet he's... It's OK for him to be ageist. Perhaps Chris, he's upset that he got overlooked for the job. <laughs> uh, he was pretty outraged in this podcast. But look, I have more of an issue with the ABC continually hiring people within the ABC and not looking outside the ABC. But I think the attack on Fran's age is really quite poor and one that I think was unwarranted in this case. Yeah, I would say this is another case of where the ABC just creates programs to look after its people who have retired from other jobs. They just find... They They've got to find something for Lee Sales to do next. You know, they always find a nice little job for people who are, uh, when they've passed their use-by date in their day job. But uh, uh, age shouldn't have anything to do with it.